Hey, hi, and hello, everybody. I promised you I was going to do a cooking video tonight, and I guess I am. Um, I got a real basic setup here. It's real simple. We are going to be making keto-friendly shrimp alfredo tonight. So, in doing all that, it's going to be, uh, I'm, I'm actually in my living room because I'm basically wheelchair bound. It's hard for me to get the cat. It's hard for me to uh, get out and cook because my stove is a regular stove. So when I cook, I have to cook like this. Here I can actually sit and reach everything and, and I'm comfortable. So we're going to cook this. I don't know how long the video is going to be because I'm, I'm cooking from scratch. This isn't out of a can and it's my own recipe um so bear with me i'm gonna cook it it's gonna be awesome and then i'll show it to you guys as i'm done uh we're gonna start i guess now so um give me a minute let me start my little burner up uh i just i have a very basic like camp burner style uh butane stove Where's my big plate? What we're going to start out with, make sure your pan's getting hot, which it is. What we're going to start out with is two tablespoons of sweet cream, unsalted sweet cream butter. Uh, regular butter, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. And we're going to let that get, get all melty and nice and... Pretty. Now you don't want to brown your butter. Uh, the worst thing you can do in this for this recipe is brown your butter. There are recipes that call for brown butter, but we'll get into that later. Uh, this being the first cooking video, we're gonna give it a shot. You know, I really start thought about uh, doing a cooking show called The Pissed Off Chef, and uh, I realized it was only gonna be good for like HBO and Cinemax, so I decided against it. It would have been funny though. I just would have, like, yelled at the ingredients and thrown shit around everywhere. It would have been a great thing. More of a comedy show than it is anything. I love to make people laugh. So, all right. So, in our pan is nothing but unsalted butter. We're going to take a half pound of peeled, deveined, large shrimp that I have cut in half on the lengthwise and then cut them in half widthwise as well. That way you get kind of some bite-sized pieces in there. And I, a half a pound is actually quite a bit of shrimp. This recipe would be great for two people. Um, I'm cooking it the way I know how to cook it. And we did the macros on it and everything else. Amy will have to show you the macros. I'm She's not here right now. So I'm not going to be able to tell you the macros. But I'm sure she'll leave it in the comment down in the bottom of the video if you want to know or you know you need to really do your own due to the different brands of shrimp and everything else now we're going to season this but we're going to season it very lightly at first with something that most people don't know about i found out about this through um deer meat for dinner a outdoor show Robert Arrington, um, these guys, again, I'm not sponsored. I, I, I just use what I use because I like it. This is called Everglades Seasoning. It's produced out of Florida. Um, see, I think it's, yeah, Seabrand, Florida. This stuff, I'm telling you, it is all purpose. It's kind of like seasoned salt, but better. I absolutely adore the stuff. Um, I use it on everything from fish shrimp, crabs, um, sandwiches, I mean, you can put it on anything. It's really good. Let me kick my heat back just a little bit. Anyway, catch my, my shrimp on fire here. So you want your shrimp to get kind of pink like that and start to brown up a little bit. They'll get those pretty little brown bits. And then what we're going to do is shake on some of this Everglades here real quick. Just to get things started. Nice. I, I wish you guys could smell it. That's the smell of it. It's just Everglades seasoning, man, I'm telling you. And they have several different seasonings. They have barbecue sauce. They have 
They have cactus dust, which is like a barbecue shake. Um, they have uh, fish and chicken, which is really good. Uh, they, they just have a whole bunch of good stuff. Then to that, we are going to add a cup of chopped broccoli. Now, this is just steamed chopped broccoli, nothing major. Nothing, uh, there's no, there was no butter on it or anything like that. It was just steamed chopped broccoli. And then we're going to kind of stir that in there and get that going and heating up. Now you can see how, I mean, that looks good. I could sit here and eat that by myself and I'd be okay with that. And we're just going to kind of let that heat up a little bit. Um, the, the broccoli was refrigerator cold and... So I just want it to kind of come up to temperature with everything else in the pan. And it kind of deglazes the pan. If you look, there's none of those little brown bits sticking there. All that goodness is right inside this dish. It's, uh, it just makes all the difference in the world. You get that kind of caramelized taste from the shrimp. And um, I'm a big advocate for flavor. So the next thing we're going to add is heavy cream. I'm going to add an entire, well actually I'm jumping ahead of myself. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to dump this heated. My cats are going absolutely insane right now. So if you hear me yell at my cats it's because they smell shrimp and they want it. I've got Lydia which is my youngest down at my feet kind of looking at me and looking for anything that I can possibly drop. I, she said, uh, uh, these cats are just going absolutely nuts. I'm going to have uh, Zane, actually, you're going to see his arm for a second, so sorry about that. Zane, I need that plate, please, so I can dump this off real fast. And So what we're doing is basically we're emptying the frying pan to get ready to start cooking the sauce. Now the sauce, of course, is a big part of this. God, this smells good, doesn't it, Zane? It smells really good, actually. Yeah, make sure the cats don't eat So it. What, what we're going to do, we need to kick the heat back. We need it kind of low because we're going to dump an entire cup of straight heavy cream right into the same skillet. Now, what that heavy cream, I mean, you know, it's a cream sauce, so you have to have your cream. Try to get it all out. Try to get it all out. Heavy cream's expensive. Then we are going to add to that, let, let this kind of come up to heat just a little bit. You'll want to try to keep it stern because a cream, milk, anything like that will scorch very quickly. And the worst, one of the worst things you can do is scorch cream, man. It's nasty when it scorches. So, we are going to wait till this comes up to heat a little bit. Well, it shouldn't take long in that hot skillet like that. And then we are going to up the heat just a little bit, not a whole, whole lot. We want it to start to simmer just a, a tiny bit before we, oh, that was a, that was a little much. We, we want it to start steaming and, and start getting some bubbles in it before we go to the next step. The next step is adding a cup, an entire cup of shredded real Parmesan cheese. You don't want to use the shaker cheese. It's got all sorts of stuff in it that I, I I prefer fresh shredded Parmesan cheese. You like my bowls, guys? I'm, I didn't have enough little bowls, so I used disposable cups. Sorry, I used what I got. So it, once we start, you can see the bubbles here. Then can you see those in there? Mm -hmm. You can see the bubbles starting to form here. So what you do once that happens is you start shaking in an entire cup of Parmesan cheese. I know what you're thinking, that's a lot of cheese. It is, but it's really good. And then you want to start stirring that in. Now it's going to seem like it's a little thin at first, but as you cook it and that cheese incorporates into that cream, it will get thicker. Um, you don't want this to be stew thick, I promise you. That's too much, it's too hard to handle. And you can see how it's starting to thicken up now. We're starting to get some nice, nice mixture in there. And man, 
I'm, I'm hungry just looking at it. So once you get that down, uh, you can see how it's starting to thin out. Once we get there, we are going to go ahead and add, and we're going to kick that heat back just a little bit. I'm used to cooking on electric, and this is gas, and of course gas heats a lot faster and a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and add my palmini noodles. Um, if any of you that are doing keto know what these are, leave a comment. Um, I will explain what they are. Palmini noodles are hearts of palm that are cut in a way to make them resemble noodles. You want to boil those first before you use them. Boil them and rinse them off. If you don't, you're going to have a weird citrusy flavor because they pack them in a citrus, like a citric acid to keep them nice and white and pretty. Once you boil them and rinse them though, they become extraordinarily bland. Then we're going to add back in, we're going to add the shrimp and the broccoli back in just like this. And once that's added in, that'll be our serving plate. And once that's added in, you want to go ahead and you just want to start folding in all the sauce and all the shrimp right into those palmini noodles. Now doesn't that look good? That looks phenomenal. We're not quite done yet. <laughs> This is wonderful looking actually. So now that you have all that and everything's staying hot and looking good and nice and thick and, and kind of yummy. Oh man, that looks good. I can't wait to dig into this. This is actually my dinner tonight. So uh, I'm very excited about it. I'm going to taste it here real quick and see what it needs. It doesn't need much, believe it or not. What I like to do with all of my Alfredos, especially if it's a seafood Alfredo like this one, I like to add about, I don't know, there's about a teaspoon and a half of lemon zest in there. And it gives it a little citrusy bite, but you want that lemon flavor. That's the good part about adding the lemon zest. So you go ahead and you mix that in. And only use the... There was so little lemon zest there, it's not even funny, and it's going to bring such a, a potent flavor to this dish. It's, you know, it's just unbelievable. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to flip this around and get it all mixed in and stirred in there. And again, now we're going to go back in with some more of the Everglades. I know I, I seasoned the shrimp with it, but that was all I seasoned with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and give it a, a fairly nice coating of Everglades here just to spice it up a little bit. And that adds your garlic and your salt and your pepper and everything else that's in Everglades. And it's really good. I mean, I'm, I'm not even kidding. I, I use this stuff on everything. So, But there you have it. That is basically all there is to it, guys. And that is homemade from scratch. Keto friendly, 100% keto friendly, um, shrimp alfredo with broccoli. So, I don't know about you guys, but I see this pan of food sitting here and I'm hungry. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to eat. But, you guys go ahead and try this recipe out for yourselves. It's excellent tasting, it's healthy, it's fresh, and it, it follows right along with what we're doing. So, I'm going to go ahead and plate this up and eat my dinner. Stay healthy. Stay happy. I'll see you guys later.